In this video, we're going to show you how to manipulate tagged values. We have three different tagged values, cost items one, two, and three that are attached to our blocks, systems one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. You can see that if we go down to tags, we have our different tags that we've added our values to. And you see them across here in the table. And what we're going to do is we're going to add up the tagged values. So we're going to show you how to do that using meta chains. So starting from scratch, we're going to start with a profile diagram and a BDD. We're going to start with our system one, two, three block and our customization. We're going to create a new stereotype on our profile diagram, and we're going to drag that stereotype onto our customization to make it the customization target and add attributes to our stereotype. We're going to type the attributes of the stereotype with type real number, and we're then going to go into our system one, two, three block and apply the cost item stereotype that we just made. We'll then go ahead and add the values for each of our cost items one through three. The stereotype element is flagging us with the red rectangle around the element saying that it needs to be within a profile. So we're going to go ahead and create that profile element in the containment tree and add the stereotype and customization and profile diagram within the profile. We're going to go ahead and create a generic table and we'll add our cost item stereotype as the element type field and we'll just do the entire model as our scope. Then we'll go into select columns and we can actually find the tags that are within our stereotype cost item one, cost item two, and cost item three. You may have noticed that name did not pop up as an option underneath columns. We wanna show the block name on the row of the diagram. So to do that, we're gonna change our element type from just cost item to cost item and block. Then that will allow us to show our name field. So now we're gonna create a new custom column so we'll go to columns and then new custom column, which will then add the three different cost items together. So we will actually clear out all of the things that are blank in the expression, start anew, and we will click on script. And then we will type the following script, ensuring that our language is set to OCL2. arg1.tagvalue.value.ocl as type real arrow sum and we'll make sure that our type is set to real we'll select single value so arg1 is the contextual variable this which means that it's talking about the row in the table system one two three block so we're going to be looking at the tagged value of the system one two three block the tagged values value which would be the actual number and then we're gonna convert that number to a real from a string. And then we're going to add all of those now real numbers together. And you can see that it added two plus three plus five equals 10. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a new custom column that's going to add the cost item one and cost item two. Fair warning, this is in depth and kind of painful to get through. So the first thing I'll do is change the type to real, and then I'm just going to remove all the excess expression. I'll click on script as I did before, ensuring my language is OCL 2.0, and in the body, I will type this. arg1.tagged value arrow select x of arg2 arrow includes x dot value dot OCL as type real arrow sum. So to break that down, we'll remember that arg1 is this, which is a contextual variable, which is going to be the system one, two, three block. So the tagged value of the system one, two, three block is going to be cost item one, two, and three. Argument two is something we're about to create using a filter and we're going to hand pick which cost items we're trying to select. The includes is going to say as long as the, the cost items that we selected is within the argument one array, 
argument one array being cost item one, two, and three, then we're going to take those values and we're going to sum them together. So let's create arg2 by selecting create parameter underneath arg1 and selecting filter. Within the argument2 filters input, we'll select metachain navigation. We'll fill this out later. We'll go into the predicate and within the body, we'll select operation from model where we will select contains. Within the input of the contains, we'll select a collection. Within the collection, we'll create an operation, call it an element. We will then look for our cost item one and click OK. We'll go back in again and create another element for cost item two. For our object equals null, we will go in and we will select operation from model and select first. Within that input, we will add another meta chain, which we will fill out later, but the context will be arg. Okay, we're in the home stretch. We'll go back to our first meta chain and we'll go from cost item to tagged value. Then for our second meta chain, we'll go from tagged value to tag definition. So now I'm just going to click back through each of the levels or each of the lines of the expression so you can review it if you'd like. When we click OK, you can see the cost item one and two column is now populated with the number five, which is two plus three, so it is correct. Now I'm gonna go ahead and edit this column again. And instead of adding one and two together, I'm gonna to add one and three. We're gonna remove some of the excess uh, blank expressions that Cameo gives us. And then we're gonna go into the cost item two and change it to cost item three and click OK. and you'll see that it adds up appropriately. I'll show you how to just copy an entire column and paste it, the whole meta chain again to create a new column. And we're gonna add two and three this time. We accidentally forgot to add our type of real, and that's why it aired out the first time. So if we just open it back up and change our type back to real, click OK, you'll see that it works. And of course, this is scalable, so we can go back to our BDD and create several more system blocks and add the stereotypes to them and then show them in the table. You can see that even if we don't add a value for cost item three, that the derived properties or the additions still work out and it does not error.